This video is about drop shipping, about pricing your items, how to price your items, drop shipping. Okay, so you didn't know? Here we go. So drop shipping, you're drop shipping, you're you know, looking in your supplier and you're uh, trying to figure out how to price your items. You know, I'm doing it on eBay. Okay, I know people do it on their own stores, people doing it on Shopify or whatever the hell, you know, I'm doing it on eBay. So what I'm doing is I have an eBay fee and I have a PayPal fee and I might have shipping fees. So, and then I have my profit, okay? So a lot of times I like to multiply everything by 40%, okay? Because that will give me my 10% for, for eBay fees, then a 3% PayPal fee, okay? Now, if I have to do shipping on Walmart, it's like six bucks, uh, depending on whatever, you, you know, and uh, anything over $35 is free. So, you know, you're trying to do over $35 if you can. So, so if you have, if you take whatever off your supplier and you and you times it by 1.4 or 40%, okay, that'll that'll turn around and and give you enough cushion that it'll give you a good profit, and it'll give you, it'll cover shipping, right? It'll cover taxes. You got taxes. You got to don't forget your with a retail your retail uh, arbitrage real retail drop shipping is they they're charging you taxes. So you got to have taxes, shipping, and uh, eBay fees and PayPal fees. Okay, so all of that is going to roll it around. So if you now obviously forty percent might place you to where you can't make money. So that's up to you. Don't say, don't say well, he said 40% and uh, well, it doesn't work, so this drop shipping stinks, I'm out. You have to adjust, okay? How you, like I said in other videos, you maybe you have a, a, a cash back card, maybe you have a discount at certain suppliers, uh, you know, like I said, with the, with uh, Home Depot as a contractor, and uh, you know, there's different, there's different ways to optimize your profit, okay? So, but also, just because I say 40%, you know, we're talking 13%, 13% is your break-even nut, right? Because you got a 10% e uh, eBay and a, and a 3% PayPal, right? And most of the time, you're going to have free shipping, and then you got your taxes. So 1.1 would be taxes, 1.1% for taxes, and uh, so... You know, figure 15%, right, will cover taxes, and I'm guessing, I drew that out there, taxes, uh, eBay fee and PayPal fee, cause, and you're going with free shipping. So, now how much do you want to make? Do you want to make 10%? So now we're, now we're up to 25%. So you don't have to go by 40%, you could go by 25%, all right? If you if you don't care how much you make per sale, if you're like, hey, listen, I'm trying to get 50 sales a day. I don't care if I make ten dollars a sale. If I'm trying, I, I, if if I make ten dollars a sale but only make one sale, I could make 50 sales a day at two dollars each. I, I'll take that. All right. So you know, you, you got to balance it out here. It's not about how much you're making per sale if you're making a lot of sales. Okay. So you know. It's different strategies, obviously. So that's what you got to do. You got to figure out what what works for you, what what your strategy is. And you can't be bouncing back and forth, okay? Now, you, you know, you don't have to stick to one supplier. You know, you can find stuff on. I had issues where uh, I had a supplier and uh, got an order, was all excited, went to go to my supplier, out of stock, out of stock. Don't know when it's going to be in stock. Now I'm now I'm in trouble because I'm going to have a negative feedback on my eBay. So what do I do? I go on Google. I search the item. I find the item actually cheaper somewhere else. Okay, and I was able to still make a deal. So don't let little snags in the ointment. You know, little flies in the ointment, little snags in the road. You know, stop you from your goal. Okay, as 
what you're trying to do here is when things pop up, you got to figure it out. Figure it out. If you don't know how to do it, if you weren't sure how to do it, Google it. Go on YouTube, ask a question. You know, there's plenty of people and, and go on the different forums, go on Facebook forums and you look for groups and ask questions. People will be glad to give you information, believe me. If you ask a question in one of these forums, you'll get 30 replies on what an idiot you are. Do it this way. It's very easy. So like and subscribe, uh, leave a comment. I'll answer your comment, okay? Share the video with anybody you think maybe is drop shipping and is interested in, in, in how, do you, how do you figure out how to, how to price your items. I hope that made it a little more clear. You know, don't go by what I say, what a guru says, or you know, what you heard on whatever other channel, or you know, go by what you know. There, there are eBay calculators out there. Go on Google, search eBay calculators. It'll, it'll, you put in the price. It'll give you, it'll give you exactly what your fees are, and you can, with no guesswork involved, you'll know exactly what it is. And you know, that's what they, you know, that's what you gotta do. All right, guys.